All right, everybody. Welcome back, Dave. ABQ SCNC. We are back for another edition of our preseason Madden 19 New York Giants rebuild. Right now, what we're going to do uh, before we start the preseason, we're going to reorder our roster. Quarterback's good. Halfback's good. Fullback really doesn't matter. Um, wide receiver core should be fine. We got Odell, the two shepherds. Fowler, Latimer. We also have um, Corey Coleman, but he can stay off the grid for now. I do want to move Will Ty up to the second position, though, as he is younger than Ellison. I'm sure Ellison's just fine, but Will Ty is younger. Fits our scheme. So we're going to move him up to second in the, in the roster here. Everybody's about mid to high 70s on our uh, so we do need to reorder the offensive line a little bit as we're going to put Jay Brown as the backup for most of these guys they're all uh, mid to high 70s except for the centers so Pulley's younger so we're going to put him up there and then we're going to put Brown at the bottom here but Brown's going to back up everybody as he's a 72 which makes him the best backup available I'm going to leave incognito at right guard and move Muhort over to right tackle. Still shows him as a 76, so he'll do for now till we can get somebody. Either in the draft or through free agency or trades. As the trading deadline is until week 8, so we can still move a few people around here. All right, so we're putting Hill as the backup on the defensive ends and leaving Ayers and Averill as the starters for now. If I find somebody better, then we'll get them and we'll get rid of Averill and, and them. But they have to be a quick or a star or a superstar for me to want to pick them up because I'm not just going to keep a normal there. Linebacking core. Carter's a rookie, so we're just going to move the backups around here, get him some experience so he can move up a little bit. We do have Bowman and Derek Johnson as our middle linebackers. I could do that. Cornerbacks, Cromarty, Jenkins, Williams. We're just going to add the fifth one right here. Haley will plug right in there. That way our five are set. Free safeties. We're either going to move Hal or Collins over, depending on what it lets us do here. Yep, Hal's already starting at free safety, so we'll just move Collins to free safety. They're both good. They're both do good in either position. So I think Hal is more of a, a hybrid. So we'll probably put him over there. Kickers really don't matter. And I don't really, like, we're not punting a whole lot. We're not, we'll kick a few field goals, but hopefully it won't make or break one of our games. It might, it might not, but uh, I think Rosas is done after this year, depending on how much he wants. We'll either keep him or get rid of him. All right, so we've readjusted our stuff here. Gonna see if there's anything better. The spread's at 81, but the spread's at 81. But I think we'll just keep the zone run since we have Barkley. 4-6 defense. 
I don't know, for some reason I just love that. They're going to pass all over us because we're going to be in man a lot, but that's why we got the better safeties and cornerbacks. We'll try to alleviate some of those passing yards that we'll be giving up because we're going to be stacking the box a lot. So I don't like the preseason in real life, so I'm definitely not going to play it here. We're just going to simulate Riley Dixon, our punter, has leveled up here, so <laughs> we get to choose whether we want to upgrade his accuracy or his power. Going to try to not have it as fuzzy for you here. Yeah, it didn't quite work. There we go. That's a lot better. All right, he's a 74 overall. He's got 74 for his power and 68 for his accuracy. He's just a normal, which it, I don't really care about that. 29th ranked punter. So we'll see what he is after we upgrade him here. If he moved up any or... So... Gonna increase the power. And it gave us plus two on awareness. So he went from the 29th to the 27th ranked punter. So we jumped over two guys here. And that's what could happen. And you can see we beat the Browns 21-16 in preseason week number one. So even simulating it, our guys did pretty good, 21-16. I mean, it is just the preseason, so it doesn't really count for anything, but... Gonna see if anybody got hurt that first week. Nope, no injuries. That's what I like to see. Preseason week two, we get the Lions. Simulate. And we won that one, 32 to 17. So we are 2-0 and in the preseason. We get the New York Jets on our next preseason game. Nobody hurt. So far, so good. All right, so we are holding up pretty good so far. Let's see how we do against the Jets, who are 0-1-1. And, and last week of the preseason, we get the New England Patriots. Super simulate week three of the preseason. Did we lose or did we beat the Jets? We beat the Jets 24 21. Today is cut day. We got to cut down to 53 players, but first we're going to see who gets to upgrade. Robert Ayers. He's a 72 speed rusher, a 78 power rusher. And a 75 run stopper. He is the 32nd ranked right end in the entire league. Let's see if this upgrades him any. He's just a one year stopgap, so we'll just fix whatever. Just upgrade whatever was his top one. Let's see, he's 32. We're not planning on keeping him long term. That fits our scheme, so we're just going to keep it together here. One awareness, one play recognition, two power moves, and one pursuit. He is now a 79, up from a 78. And he went uh, to the 29th ranked right end. So jumped a couple people as well. Moving up a rank in his overall should give us a better, if we ever decide to trade him, it should get us a little better 
price for him now that he's a 79 instead of a 78. So it's cut day. We got to pick uh, who we want to cut. Alex Tanny is a 57. If one of our guys gets, I've only had one time I played this where both my quarterbacks got hurt in one game. So hopefully that will not happen again. And uh, gonna cut Tanny. Bye, Tanny. You're only 57. We gotta get somebody else. We'll do that. Hopefully both guys won't get hurt and our punter ends up playing. So Saquon's a superstar. We're definitely not getting rid of him. Stewart's there in case he gets hurt. You only have one fullback. We got eight wide receivers, so we're going to get rid of a few of these guys. There's uh, Odell, Sterling, and then a bunch of 73s. So there's no need to keep these 63s. We'll move Henderson to the practice squad. Jay Will to the practice squad. And we'll leave it at that for now. We'll check out the tight end situation. I know we're keeping Ty and Ingram and probably Ellison, so the rest are probably going to go or head to the practice squad. Diossi making $1.15 million. He's our sixth tight end. Bye-bye, Diossi. Garrett Diggerson doesn't really cost us anything to cut him. And Simonson, we don't need four tight ends. We'll keep three and go from there. While our offensive line isn't awesome, we still don't need the 59 or some of the 60s, so it's going to be choice time. I figure out who we're going to keep, who we're going to get rid of. Basically, we know who our backups are and who our... And we got to keep at least one right tackle, so... All these guys are right around the same, so don't think we're going to get rid of those guys. We'll see what's on the other side. Yeah, there's 60s on the other side. We'll just get rid of those guys. I got us about a million in cap space just by getting rid of those two. I like all three of these guys. Corn. Cornelius Washington will be a fine backup just in case these guys need a breather or get hurt. See, Carter's 22, so we're just going to keep him, see how he does this year. Barwin's a good backup. The two middle linebackers, we're going to have to either hang on to one of them or try to upgrade during the season. Maybe we can get somebody at a different position and then play them at middle linebacker. Uh, 58 yeah we don't I don't think we need you bye bye cornerbacks we have eight cornerbacks so I pretty much know the ones that we do want to keep that guy is not one of them and we go all the way down to Haley in our depth chart so we might as well just get rid of the other guys can always pick up somebody in case we absolutely need them but we can always play safeties at corner as well So we got the two safeties. We are definitely keeping Hall and Hal and uh, Collins. The other guys are just window dressing here. Got to keep one for a backup. So we'll probably keep Thomas and Riley. And we got one more we got to get spot we got to get rid of. So I think we're just going to get rid of that tackle. That's a 59. All right, so we made all our cuts. We are down to a 53-man roster. We are going up against the Patriots on the last week. Who are 2-1 and one in the preseason. So we're 3-0. and oh, They're 2-1. and one. We'll see if they have any questions for us right now. No questions. We're popular, we're overall 7th, fan happiness is good, and our recent success is apparently just 3-0 is just okay. 
tough crowd. All right, next week against the Patriots, last week of the preseason. And we lost to the Patriots, 21-17. We are in week one of the regular season, so we're going to see who we need to upgrade here. One of our middle linebackers at 64 needs an upgrade, so I think we're going to upgrade his pass coverage here as he's only a 59 in that. We are going to be playing a lot of man coverage this year, so... So he went up in agility one, awareness one, man coverage two, and zone coverage one. He does fit our scheme, so he is the 111th ranked middle linebacker. Yay for us. So we do have somebody who's ready to negotiate their contract. We'll check that out here in a second. I want to see if there's any new free agents out there. Maybe somebody we could possibly pick up. Ford's okay, but we don't really need another cornerback, especially only one at a 74. Washington's quick, but not a big bad runner. Nah, it doesn't really look like there's too many people out here that we could use. A lot of them fit our scheme, but Quarterbacks, their Nick Mullins is out there, but he's, his salary is four point two two million. So for a third quarterback, uh, I'm not thinking that we're going to end up keeping him or picking him up actually. So we're just going to check it out, see who's around, as we are about to enter the regular season. We were three and one in the preseason, lost to the. Barely lost to the Patriots in the last week of the preseason. Just checking out the quarterbacks. Just in case I'm missing something here. But. Doesn't look like there's anything too good out there. Our owner goals is to either win a Super Bowl or lose a Super Bowl. Hopefully not the latter. So we're still good. Overall seventh. We haven't started the season yet, so we are back to 0-0. Gonna check one last time to see if there's anybody on the waiver trade wire to see if they, uh, we're interested in them. Looks like it's all the same people from before. They're all gonna be normal. Yep, nothing really new here. Just going over it one more time just in case a player was added that we did not see the first time. Maybe after the cut day they put somebody on the trade block. There is a quick in Trey Henderson over here. He's only 23. Thinking about it. Let's see if we can make something happen here. Will they take a third rounder for him? Nope. Will they take... two third rounders for him? A little better.
not really ready to kill up a first rounder chest yet. They're looking for a left guard, so maybe they'll want incognito. We do have Brown that could plug in in that spot. No, it's not even close. How close do we get with the with the third rounders here? I don't think it's going to be too much better. Two round threes and incognito. Oh, it was almost there. Yeah, we're just going to leave that alone for now. All right, still not seeing anybody else besides Hendrickson that is new out there. We're good at free safety, but you never know. All right, not seeing anything. So let's see what Trevor Williams wants. We did get him and he is in a trade. He's a quick at 81 and only 24 years old. He is looking for an extension. You can see Landon is coming up in week three. Three years, let's try four. Lock him up for a little bit here. Boom, Trevor Williams, four years. He's an 81 and quick. Rogers Camardi is not gonna be around forever, so he is going to be a starter at least Probably, if not next year, the year after. Yeah, after Tyrod, it pretty much drops down. But Tyrod's wanting like $13 million a year. And I am not going to pay him $13 million a year. So Tyrod's just going to be with us this year. Rosas might only be with us this year. But we're definitely picking up Collins. And we got Williams locked down for four. So... We're looking good. Uh, we're gonna check our salaries here. We are at 31.4 million in cap space, so we're looking good for next year. Wanna well, thank everybody for watching. We will be starting the regular season starting on our next video. Everybody have a great night, and thank you for joining us. We look forward to the regular season with you guys. Thanks.